what a clean tech cluster uh, achieves in an area in the in the research triangle region it is possible to create a climate where businesses will invest you want to have people that you can talk to you want to have people you can discuss ideas you want a safe environment well north carolina is well known all over the world as the research hub for smart grid. What we're looking at here is the future of how to manage distribution uh, electric grids. So at Semprius we build the most efficient solar modules in the world. One of the unique things about uh, Advanced Energy's Motor Test Lab is that we're the only independently certified lab in North America. Certainly uh, the energy industry is, is rife with developing technology. North Carolina has a rich tradition of, of innovation uh, going way back to when the creation of the Research Triangle happened. Getting the three universities in this area uh, to work together with industries to help those industries move along. This particular facility is actually where we're focused on ABB's technology for distribution automation globally and uh, we're leading the development and the application of these technologies. That's why we came to North Carolina to gain more information about smart grid, smart metering. We participated in a research study in 2001 that helped identify the clean tech cluster. Um, how big is it? What firms are here? Um, what are our assets that have made the Triangle an exceptional place for clean tech companies to locate? And we found that we have over 60 firms and 100 firm locations in the Triangle. Um, so we're obviously doing something right. I think it's important also to be here, particularly in the States, because you know all the Europeans are eager to catch up with the United States when it comes to research, development and innovation. So it's good to be here to see how you do it, so you can learn a little bit more from it. You have all the players in one place and you can get a current read of the market needs and we can respond to that because we have the resources to advise us on the direction that we need to go. We live in a globalized world. In this global village, um, the way to work together, and especially when there's a scarcity of resources, it's not easy to actually do it from a single country or single economy perspective. It shows that um, that this region believes in the international network, the ICN, and, and that I think is uh, really an asset that we can be proud of. This region is special because it's among one of the top in the world in terms of talent pool, in terms of electrical engineering, chemical engineering, physicists, etc. There's a great talent pool here. There's also a great work ethic. Well, workforce is extremely important for the region as, as a whole, as economic development is, is searching and recruiting business to the area, it's very important to have the talent here in place, but also looking at future talent. You need employees of your new companies to be educated in the areas that you're doing your work in. And so if you don't have a workforce, you can't have an industry. Uh, so that collaboration between industry and academia is vital. We think this region, because of the universities, the economic development activity, and the, the cluster or the concentration of companies that are also in the smart grid uh, industry, makes it easier for us to recruit, makes it easier for us to train, makes it easier to, to attract uh, people coming into the industry. That's one of the things that Advanced Energy tries to do, is we try to help new technologies make it from the initial stages through development into the marketplace. And so having a purposeful clean tech cluster will really be able to put together the, you know, the, the capital we have here with regards to all the research that's going on with Smart Grid and, and actually put a dot on the map for actually deploying and putting into use that uh, technology. Being at this meeting with the Research Triangle Clean Tech Cluster made me realize that 
It doesn't have to be a horse in a buggy. It's actually now a big hybrid electric bus. And we can all work together. In order for us to make this work, it requires every tool in the box, all pulled together to assemble this module that's unique in the world. And if we can put all of this together, we're actually building a smart city, a sustainable city that is actually conducive for the whole world to live in.